Well, today is the day. Archie Holmes' very first client event. Now, I've been doing real estate now for a little over five years, and I'd be lying if I said that it was easy. Now, I definitely wouldn't be where I am today without the people that I've worked with, people that have referred me, and those of you that are currently watching on this channel that hopefully will be working with me in the future. So, in order to show my appreciation, this year I decided to give back and throw a client event. Now, normal people do barbecues, and they rent a room at a movie theater, or meet at a brewery. <laughs> But not me. I like to do things big. So in true Brandon fashion, I rented the entire Budweiser roof deck at the Target Field, which not only has panoramic views of downtown Minneapolis, a bird's eye view of the entire stadium, and it can hold up to 325 people. But uh, uh, the only issue is that my event is on Labor Day weekend and a lot of people will be out of town. Minnesota State Fair is also going on and Probably the most important issue is, I've never actually thrown an event before and have no clue what I'm doing. So, did I just book a venue that can hold over 300 people just for no one to show up? I really hope not. All right, so today is the day. We're awake, gotta make sure that everything is charged. I'm bringing all my camera gear. You can see here, got a camera in my hand, got all my lenses and everything. So, as I previously stated, uh, this venue holds up to 325 people. Now, I got 250 tickets that I could send out. And looking at my computer screen right now, let's see here, I've sent out I've shared 141 tickets, and I still have 109 remaining. The only issue is, again, holiday weekend, state fair weekend, uh, don't know if people are actually going to come or not. Uh, I have even gotten text messages today saying that some of the people that previously confirmed are now saying that they may not be able to make it. So realistically, in my head, I am trying to get at least 100 people to show up. If I can get 100 people to show up, then I will feel accomplished with this event. So that is the goal today. I'm going to be sending out some text messages, trying to confirm with more people, and uh, keep you updated. Okay, so the gates opened at 4 p.m., but the actual game didn't start until 6. Now, my plan was to get there at 4 p.m. so I could check out the space and make sure everything was good, but I was running a little bit late and didn't actually get there until about 4.30. Now, when I got there, the only people that were there was my agent, Jared, who's on my team, and one of his clients that he invited. Now, I know it's still a little bit early, so I didn't get too worried about it right away. I just grabbed a drink and chilled out for a little bit. Now, at about 5.30, I start checking my phone to see if I had any more cancellations because at this time, it's still me, Jared, his client, and my videographer. Now, the game starts in 30 minutes and I'm starting to get a little bit nervous now. Then I finally see one of my clients come in with his girlfriend, so I walk over and start talking to him for a little bit. Now, at this point, the game is about to start and I'm coming to terms with the fact that I'm probably not about to have a lot of people here and that I rented this huge space out for no reason. So I did what anybody else would do in that situation, and I grabbed another drink. 
And then, just like that, while the national anthem was going on, out of nowhere, it's like everybody started coming in at one time. And I'm starting to feel a little bit more relaxed now. But that also could have very well been because I was about three drinks in at this time. Which leads me to my next issue. Trying to make sure that I actually get around and individually talk to everyone. Now, I booked this huge venue and was so worried about getting people here that it never really crossed my mind on how in the world I actually was going to make sure I talked to everyone even if they did show up. Now, I mean, I'm the host of this event and pretty much everyone here is my client, so of course they're gonna wanna talk to me at some point, right? So here I am trying to work the room and I'm not gonna lie, the few drinks that I had when I thought no one was gonna show up had me buzzing around like a social butterfly. But every time I tried to make my way over to a certain person, I got wrapped up in conversation with someone else. So at this point, I'm just doing the best that I can. The good news is the seats are filling up and everybody seems to be having fun. There are even a few people there that I don't even know. And I'm not quite sure how they got tickets, but whatever. The sun is starting to set now and the view from the sky deck is amazing. People are drinking and laughing and taking pictures, although the twins are literally getting killed by the Blue Jays right now. Now, I know I did say at the beginning of this video that 100 people at the event was my goal, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not completely sure if we hit it or not, but I think we did. Now, I did not physically count everyone there, but I know that there were 120 fixed seats on the sky deck, and it looked like pretty much all of them were spoken for. So I would dare say that the event was overall a success, other than the twins getting blown out. Now, with my first event being an overall success and me feeling great that we were able to get through everything without many hiccups, there was one last problem that I did not find out about until later that night when I got home. Uh, so, my videographer, who did a fantastic job by the way, thought outside the box and got a few of my past clients on video to give a little testimonial about what it was like working with me. When he first told me about this, I was super excited to get home and see what everyone had to say. So the second I got home, I ran upstairs to my computer, put my memory card in, opened the first one up. I couldn't hear anything. Hmm, that's odd. So I pull up the next one, and again, nothing. Now I'm thinking something's wrong with my computer. So I turn my volume all the way up and I click on a random YouTube video and just like it should, I have audio. So I go back and click on every other testimonial that we have and you guessed it, no audio. That's right. My videographer forgot to turn the microphone on, on all of the testimonials. Yeah. But it's okay because I still watched every one of them and I just read their lips. Okay, so in hindsight, what did I learn throughout this entire process of throwing my first client event? Well, there are three major things. One, don't throw an event on a holiday weekend if you actually want people to show up. Two, Make sure you have a plan in place to greet people as they come in so you ensure that you talk to everyone. And lastly, three. Make sure the mic is on. I'll see you guys next year.